Hey guys, it's time for another rat room update because I have finally decided to start making some of my own rat toys. Now, I got ideas from a ton of YouTube videos as well as some friends of mine on Facebook, but it should be said that I am a terrible crafter. Just if something can go wrong, it probably will because, I don't know, I'm shit at following directions, and <laughs> in some very surprising ways. So, these guys here that you see are Nadir and Malagon. And over there is Binry, and Baby Keldron is somewhere in the room, so he'll be making an appearance later. But it occurred to me that I haven't really identified the rats much by name or told you much about them as individuals, so I should also remedy that in this video. So, to begin, the toys that I have made. Well, obviously, this is my own handiwork here. I took a sheet set, which always looked kind of embarrassingly pimp-like on my bed, and decided that it would make a lovely rat accessory. So I made this braid. Of course, I followed an example in a book uh, in which the person had a larger Critter Nation cage than I have. So my uh, braided rope thing here is sort of huge and flops all over the cage. But... Uh, will they enjoy it? Maybe. Only time will tell. So, let's see. Then I took half of a pillowcase, same uh, sheet set, and tried to make my own hammock. Because, well, I sort of had the last straw here with the store-bought hammocks. I bought this one, which was like $9 or something at the pet store, and they didn't really like it anyway because of this fabric not being very soft, and so right away they started to um, chew it up. But also, these little things, the little clasps, came off like within the first two days that I had it. These ones are totally beat up from being washed and these ones are doing okay, but they're getting beat up as well. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try to make some hammocks and got some ideas from some people that I know, like Denise. But as you can see, mine's kind of at a weird angle. Um, we'll have to see if they like it or not. Also, I took this uh, little corner litter pan and tried to make a space for them. I originally put the fleece blankets in there like I saw online, but they just kept throwing them out onto the bottom here and they were getting all dirty and I thought well what's the point of that so oh yeah and <laughs> here's my hillbilly rat cage toy <laughs> a big pop box but I think that they like it because they actually slept in it last night instead of their hammocks or I should say this morning since of course these guys are fairly nocturnal so uh, on to the identifying each rat portion. This is Binry, aka Binners, and Binry is just very, very sweet and gentle. And he is now the smallest of the rats, which means that baby Keldron has outgrown him, but he is still a pretty large guy, so he is around 600 some grams, so, so don't feel bad for him, he is very well nourished, but he is um, always kind of more um, slender and graceful than the other rats, so he tends not to weigh as much as them. Here comes baby Cal, and he had been hiding somewhere, like underneath the bed. This is a little guy I probably have said the most about as an individual because um, he was the one that we found. Hey, baby Kel, we're talking about you. Come out. And my nephew ended up catching in an apartment where he was living the feral life as a baby. I know, I'm sorry. I don't actually have a treat, but I thought people would want to see your cute face. And he's kind of Rex-like. Um, probably not fully Rex, but he's got sort of a crimpy coat, and he originally had really crimpy whiskers as well. Yes, but not so much anymore. Your whiskers are getting straighter. Oh, there he is! <laughs> and he's actually he's really a good boy. He is a little bit nervous sometimes, which um, could have been his breeding or, of course, you know, lack of selective breeding for temperament, because I'm sure he was a feeder rat originally. Um, and, or it could be also just his early experiences have made him kind of wary. So, sometimes he's wary. Now, these two that are fighting have been fighting 
a bit these days. We have Nadir, who is the big guy right there, and Malagon, who is the Siamese. And I don't know exactly what's up with these two, but they have kind of been carrying on like this, mostly just with the posturing, and then um, one of them tries to shove the other with his shoulder, which actually I read about in this, um, this study of a rat colony, which was like this famous and not particularly new rat study, but it was, it's like a huge book. I have it. I'll have to go see who it's by, but, um, John someone. <laughs> I don't recall his name. But anyway, they talked about the postures that rats use in fighting, and, um, it really is, uh, very much accurate. They don't seem to really do any, um, harm to each other. Sometimes they do get to squeaking in protest as they wrestle. But some things that I've read and um, also seen on such as the Rat Guru's YouTube channel is that when you have rats in a cage environment, the more stuff that you have there, the more secure your rats will feel and the less likely uh, there is to be prolonged conflict because they can get um, away and have obstacles. So. Hello, binners. <laughs> you guys keep climbing on me and then I can't show you. I know. He doesn't always like when I ruffle him like this, but it's my favorite thing to do. Yes, it is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> so, where was I? Oh yeah, the other really cool thing that I heard on one of the videos about rat cages is that the reason that people really deck them out with like all the stuff is that space that's not used by, you know, the rats themselves is actually wasted space and rats like a lot of clutter to climb around. In fact, it makes them feel secure as a prey species. And when you see rats exploring around, um, they do kind of like to duck into small spaces. It's just kind of how they move. They move from, from small space to small space. So I've got around here all these little spaces um, where the rats tuck away, so why not in their cage? Now, I have to pause this because Nadir has broken a rule because there are no rats allowed on the bed. So one moment, please. All right, so I'm back again, having removed Nadir from the bed. So let's see if we can't get Nadir to come over. Oh, well, I did not plan that. Hey, you. Hey, Nadir. So Nadir along with Binry, is one of the two that I had from Very Tiny Babies. So here they both are, pardon my pajamas. But here's Nadir and Binry, whoops, vice versa, Binry, Nadir. And Nadir is, as you can see, the biggest rat. <laughs> He is, gosh, he's like 700 some grams. I just weighed him. And, um, but he's, uh, he's kind of very, I would say, vigorous and, and boisterous. And so he's not like, um, you know, slothfully heavy. Although I suppose we should cut back on the treats a little. But he is just very, very macho. I feel that Nadir is the macho boy. <laughs> and... It's been really funny to watch him and Benry grow up, because they're kind of opposites. Um, now this guy, who is sitting on my lap now, come back, come back. This is Malagon. Come here, Malagon. Hi. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trick you. I don't have any treats. But this is Malagon, and he, of course, as you can see, is a Siamese. And I must have something interesting on my palm, but I don't know what. And um, he is the smartest and most inquisitive of the rats, by far. The other ones, uh, when, especially when they were littler, you know, they were more fearful of things. And this guy was always into everything. He's always the first to explore a new way uh, down from somewhere or up to somewhere. And he's just always into everything. He's also, I would say, until recently, he was definitely the most friendly. Now, I guess I say until recently because they're kind of equally friendly now. Um, it's, it's really hard to say, but he's still um, the most likely to forgive me if I have to do something that he doesn't like, like bathe him. And he'll forgive me pretty quickly. Oh, you saw something just now on Nadir's little face. See that right there by his eye? Kind of a little bare spot, and it sort of looks like um, it could have been from fighting. 
Oh, what just happened? Did you get scared? See, this little guy gets a little neurotic about the other rats sometimes. But anyway, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, he has been kind of wrestling with the other guys lately, so um, your guess is as good as mine. But it doesn't look like an actual um, wound. It's just like a tiny little scab and some bare skin. So I'm just keeping an eye on him. Oh yeah, the other thing, I didn't want to go on and on about the room this time because that's probably boring, but you can see that I've got my posters up now. Ooh, uh-oh, and I think I just saw Binry in the Forbidden Land, so let me go and get him real quick. All right, down, guys. 